A great question came up the other day when uh, we were at a little webinar. Uh, the question was, was asked, when using DataQuest on the TI Inspire, can a model be done before data is collected? Well, you might be asking, what are you talking about a model? Well, hang in there and you'll, and you'll find out. And my answer is yes. In fact, there are a couple of ways to predict the, the graph before collecting data. Uh, menu Analyze Model will work. And oh, here comes the video of it. And I'll give you some recommendations. Uh, one of the recommendations is plug in your sensor first. Um, I'll show you why. And then another one is Menu Analyze Draw pr Prediction. Well, a nice thing about plugging it in is it auto launches. So let's see what would be the issue if we didn't uh, plug it in first. So first off, we would actually have to insert a Vernier Data Quest app. And then it seems like if you wanted to do menu and analyze, well, that's not even an option. All right, well, what if we change the view? Personally, I like changing the view by choosing one of these. But yes, you can change the view to meter, graph, or table. Well, if we went to a graph of it, we have X and Y, a nice generic. I'm going to press the tab button, and you can see that it'll toggle through some zones. Um, once I'm down to this bottom zone, you can see that down here. Then you can uh, choose that table and press enter. X and Y. This is a great tool to use even if you don't have a sensor. All right. So now you actually can't. <laughs> um, how about if we um, do, 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 choose the graph? And if you do menu, yay, now you can analyze. So if you're looking at the graph, you can do menu analyze. And there is an option called model. Now, I'm not going to do a model yet because look at the scale. It's to 100, and it's only to 5. Not very appropriate. Um, I, I could do it, but I'm going to cancel, and I'll do it here in a, in a moment. So I'm going to plug in a motion detector. And using the software, you can plug it into the USB. Using the handheld, you plug it into the mini USB. And boom, there it is. Starts working. Uh, if you don't want to have position and velocity both showing, which a lot of times is really great to have both showing. You can choose menu and let's see, there's only seven options. Wonder which one it's going to be. And yes, you guessed it, it's graph show. How about just show the first graph? All right, that gives us plenty of room to look at a model. And so now we're going to do that menu. And uh, then we're going to analyze and put a model on here, a linear model. One of the easiest ways to, to get little spinners, little sliders. And it's set up to be in a nice little MX plus B. Sorry, no, we can't change it to time to T, M, M, T plus B. But you press enter and, and you can change the spin increments. And here's the defaults, and I'll just press enter again and stick with the default for a moment. Now, this might be a good time to um, have the students think about what they, where they want the starting point. Um, you know, well, kids, hey, what does this B represent if somebody's going to be walking towards or away from a wall? Pressing enter, and there it is. Now, if I pressed tab, and then you can... Um, Maybe arrow around, ooh, model. See how it's lit up? I could press enter, and it will show me these things. Yeah, sure, you can move your cursor around and click on it. So I've got these two spinners. And again, I can use my arrows around, which is pretty convenient. And if you want to uh, make the slope smaller, then, then well, let's just press that enter. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go and click this little guy down there. So we want to, to make it smaller. Uh, change that slope like this, um, or the positive slope, or the, and then we can move that B around. So what do these things mean? So they, the students could go click, click, click. So this means that I need to start out at half a meter away from the wall, and I need to be increasing my distance at about 0.2 meters each second. Well, I can probably fairly successfully start about 0.5 away from the wall. And now, again, the tab zones are quite convenient. And I'm going to light up this, uh, the, the, the green. There, it is all nice and lit up. One, if this green start collection is, is lit up, then all you have to do is press Enter, and it will start collecting data. So 0.2 meters every second. And that's not too fast. Go. No, oh, had a little problem here sitting at my desk. Um, the data got a little funny. So what can we do about some funny data? Um, there is a thing called 
um, hold down on, on, on this cursor. If you hold down on the cursor for just a, a moment where you want to uh, start selecting the data, then you can actually select this region and menu data, strike some of that data. Uh, strike the data that's in the selected region, good choice. And now um, got pretty decent data. Wonder what the slope of mine is. Well, we could um, check out um, this, uh, adjust this a bit more um, by, oh, well, the spin increment's kind of large, isn't it? So obviously I started out a little bit lower and the uh, maybe just a little bit higher. Um, how about you can start typing it in and say point four mm, three. Well, that's nice. And then maybe I want my slope to be just a little bit um, less. How about 0.19? Hmm, okay. Now, if you want to see how well this agrees with a regression, then you can do menu, analyze, and the regression is called a curve fit. And we have lots of nice choices, including linear, exponential, and proportional. I'm oh, sorry, natural exponential, as in uh, ln of x. And uh, so, anyway, we um, wanted to do a linear regression for this. And, um, oh, <laughs> that's because I have selected nothing. Um, I had just a little bit of nothingness collected to do a linear regression. So let's do that one more time. Menu, Analyze, Curve Fit, Linear. And there is uh, arrowing down. You can see the slope is oh, 0 0.19, 0 0.43. Nice. So uh, there's a lovely time modeling. And that was the, uh, the first example. Um, I guess I was going to show that you could also draw a prediction. All right. Um, I think I'll just add another another one of these and another uh, Vernier data quest. And over here, I'm going to go ahead and store that run. Store. And if you're like, hey, what happened to it? It disappeared. That's because I'm looking at run two. If I just want to look at run one, then there's run one. All right, so what if I wanted to draw a different prediction? Let's look at the view, and then how about menu? Did you see it under analyze, draw prediction? Yep, we can draw it, and there's clear, you might have seen. How about let's start out at um, about a meter away, and then I'm going to move for a while, then I'm going to stop moving, then maybe I'll move the other direction. All right, there's my prediction. Click it again. I uh, said double click. Okay, let's press escape. And that'll stop. <laughs> press escape stops uh, drawing the prediction. So, how far am I starting out? How about uh, one meter? That looks good. And start collecting data. Oh, that's true. Um, I had this other part of this. Um, time that I wasn't uh, considering. But looks like a pretty good graph to me. I could uh, repeat if I wanted to try again, starting out closer to one meter and repeating. <laughs> oh, yeah. And what happens if you get this little um, outlier? You can just strike that, that data with a menu, data, <laughs> strike data in the region yeah, and it makes it nice and beautiful. So there was that second method. Uh, let's clear this and show you the one other way. Um, menu analyze draw prediction clear that prediction and the one other method if you have a CBR plugged in you can menu analyze motion match. There's position match and velocity match. Um, it's recommended you just click on here and make that at two meters It'd be the maximum it's going to be. And actually, since the way it's set up, I think I'll just go with one meter away. Um, I'm a big fan of this being zero. I click on it, I can make it zero. If you don't like that prediction, you can men or motion match, that is. Then you could do a new position match. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. two, uh, maybe even one meter away. 
Okay. Oh, this is can we can do this one, and I prefer that zero. So let's start collecting the data. Kind of want to show something else, but where should I start out? How about if we started out on this uh, on this run right here? <laughs> show me where I am. Okay, good. And if we started out right about here, sure, why not? And go. Yeah, whatever. Um, I wish I could delete this. So let's start out closer. There you go. It's real slow and then much faster. And students can talk about the slope of this, the positive or negative. They can talk about the slope of that being positive. And what does that mean? It means you're increasing your distance away. How does this one compare? How does the slope of this first portion compare to the slope of this one? Well, they actually get to move it and, and see how it works. And if they didn't like it the first couple of times, they can repeat, and they really get the feel for it. And that's all we had to say about that. Thanks a lot. hope this was helpful.